Welcome to the Edupedia World, virtual world free education. Hi, I am Suraya Said, Microsoft Certified Trainer. After finishing our tour to the interface of the program, now we are ready to take the first operations with your workbook, which is how to open a workbook or several workbooks. To open an existing workbook, you should click the File tab to enter to the Backstage view, then click the Open button. It will open the Open dialog box. This dialog box is divided into bands. The navigation band on the left, where you can select a new folder to open, and the main band on the right, showing the icon for all the subfolders in the current folder as well as the documents that Excel can open. Click the file you want to open and then click the open button or double click the file's icon. If you want to open a workbook that was open recently, you don't have to bother with the open dialog box. Just click the file tab, choose recent and then Click the workbook file in the recent workbooks list. Excel keeps track of the workbooks you have opened recently. When you are ready to resume work on workbook, it's often faster to open it from the recent workbook list. Here you will see a list of workbooks with the most recently opened workbooks at the top. If there are files you use frequently or if you are working on a project and want to make sure you have quick access to specific files during the project, you can bin any file that appears in the list by clicking this icon beside the file name. And we can see the screen tip telling us that this button will bin this item to the list. When you pin a file, it stays at the top of the list until you unbin it again. To unbin a workbook from the pinned item list, just click the button beside its name or right click it and click remove from list. To the right of the recent workbooks list is the recent places list. This list tracks your most recently used folders, like the recent workbooks list. You can bin certain folders so that they always appear at the top of this list, and you can remove both workbooks and folders from lists by right-click and selecting Remove from list. Or to click the icon to the right of the workbook name that will unbin this place from the recent places list. If you would like to clean up the list, you can clear all recent workbooks except the pinned workbooks by right click and selecting Clear Unpinned Workbooks. There is a checkbox at the bottom of the recent files list that says Quickly access this number of recent workbooks. If you check this box and enter a number, you will see that number of recent files appears in the left column of the files tab. When opening a multiple workbook at the same time, you can switch between them from the view tab, click the switch window button, you can find all files here and you can click the file you want to open. Again, to switch you to a quarterly summary. In order to view two workbooks side by side at the same time, open the first one, then from the View tab, click View side by side. A dialog box is opened and, and it asks you to click the 
other file that you want to see beside the first one we can choose for example personal data now we can see the two files side by side also synchronize scrolling is on which means that when you scroll down in the first one it also scrolls down in the second one when you scroll up in the first one it also scrolls up at the second one if you need to see all the opened workbooks together you can arrange all workbooks from here when you click the arrange all button in the view tab a dialog box is opened and it asks you to select a type of arrangement let's try tiled the first one so the four opened workbooks are arranged vertically and horizontally if we try the second one horizontal it will be arranged horizontally only and the vertical choice will arrange them vertically the last one will arrange them in an descending way so that you can see the title bar of each workbook and click it to switch to the one you want to see thank you for watching edu video world videos see you at the next video